With the thousands of rumors about the Switch 2, which I will not cover, I decided to come out of the woodworks and discuss the top 5 things I want from the Switch 2 dash Pro. Right off the bat, let's just get the boring one out of the way. Performance. We all want better performance. We want the higher refresh rate and resolution and frame rate. We all want that. I mean, that's the whole point of the new Switch, you know, for it to be better. And the rumors say it's going to be like the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, which was expected. Number two, I want the OLED screen still. I love the OLED screen. I think it'd be a downgrade if we went back to the LCD. I mean, it, it just pops on the OLED. I love playing on my OLED just for the screen itself. It's bigger than the original and the screen just pops. Oh my goodness, I love playing it, especially like Borderlands. It just pops. It's, I cannot explain it. Unless you have some type of OLED screen on your phone, TV, Switch, you will not really understand how amazing the OLED looks. Next, let's do the Joy-Cons. I mean, the Joy-Cons, they are trash. I mean, I love the white, but they are utterly trash. And if I'm going to play in handheld, I use the Hori Split Pad Joy-Cons. They're nice, they're white, they look clean. I love them. The back bumpers, they're there, but they're not too big, like the Asus ROG Ally. And they just fit well in the hands. The buttons could be a little bit more premium if I'm spending 400 plus for whatever the new Switch is. But take that type of that feel and the design and just make it more premium. I love using them. They're so nice. If you're ever thinking about grading your Joy-Cons, get the Hori Split Pad. Um, they're on Walmart. You can get them different places. I love them. They're like 50 bucks. Pretty affordable. And I love them. They are so comfortable. You can assign stuff. Turbo. Which I hope the new Joy-Cons have that too. Next. Everyone wants this, which was a little disappointing that the original Switch didn't have this. Cross progression. It would be a waste if they make a Switch Pro or Switch 2 and not have cross progression. And even if it's not a new Switch, but it has Switch type things, it would be a huge miss if they don't have cross progression. I mean, after all, people spend absolute hundreds of dollars on their games for the Switch. And the Switch has some really solid games, and it was a miss when the Switch didn't have 3D games and any cross-progression like that. Complete disaster. So with the new Switch, I really want it to have that, because it just would be a complete miss, and I would honestly probably start boycotting Swi the new Switch if it didn't have that. You can create an app like what they did with the Animal Crossing Island, where you can download your games to it and then it sends it to the new Switch and makes a digital copy of it on the new Switch. I think it would work out. I'm not a developer, so it may be harder than said, but if they were able to do it with Animal Crossing with app, I think they should do be able to do it with the games. Okay, my last one, the fifth one. This one's going to be absolutely insane and people are going to think, what in the world? And this one, I don't believe is probably going to happen. Upgradable. What does that mean? The issue with the Switch is it's amazing console and it's been here since 2017. However, you can't upgrade it in any other way. And with the ASU ROG Ally, they had the external GPU, which boosts the performance. So imagine if the Switch 2, you could just simply upgrade it. I mean, you can get external GPU, a better SSD, all this. I mean, it'd be insane. Imagine it being like a mini PC where you can get upgrades and stuff for it. I think it'd be amazing. Is it going to happen? Probably not. If it happens, I'm going to literally lose my mind. But that would be awesome if that could happen of them making it that you can upgrade it in some type of way. Because the issue with the Switch is it's amazing. However, it is so last last gen that it's sometimes really hard to play with it. However, the Switch life expectancy can be longer if it can be upgradable of, hey, you want to boost your performance? Get this and up to it. Similar to how the Asus laptops and ROG works, how you can get upgrade GPUs and stuff. I think that'd be super cool and it would make the Switch 2 dash Switch Pro whatever life last longer without having really any extra expense downgrade like the original switch now 
But anyway, these are my thoughts. They're kind of crazy thoughts. Some of them, some of them make sense. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments what you guys want from the Switch 2 Switch Pro or whatever they're going to name it. And hope you enjoyed it. And see you on the next one, gamers. See ya. Thank you.